Welcome to the video for the operating instructions of our Resato HDU Compact Pulse Test Unit. Um, I will tell you in this video in a few steps how to use this compact test unit. I split up this video in a few steps for better understanding. Uh, we start with the general part. After that we are talking about the test area. Then we are going deeper into the operating uh, engraved uh, panel. Then we are talking about the Risato RCR recording computer to make uh, certificates from each tested house. And at least we will do a complete hydrostatic test. I will advise you to use our user guide which we provide with uh, each test unit in the language of the country where we will deliver the unit. So, you see here the HDU uh, Resato test unit. Um, this unit is with two high pressure air operated pumps. This means that with an air pressure from 0 to 7 bar, we can reach the hydraulic pressure what's needed to test uh, the house. For this specific unit, we can reach a pressure from a hydraulic pressure from 50 to 1790 bars but we have also units available up to 5,000 bar. In this same housing, we can also deliver units with only one pump, then we call it an SLU. On the left and the right side of the unit, you find several connections for the water and the air inlet, uh, the USB connection uh, for the Resato computer recorder and the drain. Also, here on the left side, you find the main switch to activate the complete system. On this specific unit, you will find on the right side of the cabinet extra connections. Those connections are used if you want to use a uh, bigger test area for hoses what cannot fit, fit into the test shape. Those connections are an extra door switch and the uh, inlet and outlet high pressure connections. Please be aware that when you want to use this feature, you have to do your own risk analysis on the complete specific combination. Further on, you see uh, the operating panel with the engraved uh, scheme and the test chamber with the polycarbonate lid. When we open the lid, you see the inlet and the outlet high pressure connection. On this point, you see the visual de air indication to check if the hose is de aired. In this case, you see that we have already mounted our test pipe. In case that you have a pressure drop and cannot find the cause, you can mount this pipe for checking if the unit is 100% tight. When we have a closer view to the panel, you see several colored lines. The blue lines are air related. Low pressure pump, high pressure pump and in the middle the blood fluid line. The green lines are all inlet fluid related. The feed line for the pumps and a combined line for the de-air and bleed. The red lines are all high pressure fluid related. The inlet and the return for the high pressure hose connections and the digital readouts. To understand the working of the system, we go in deeper into the scheme on this panel. About those blue lines. As mentioned before, we have a low pressure and a high pressure pump. Those red nubs are the pressure regulators to realize the air pressure onto the pumps. To, to get on the end actually the hydraulic pressure on your house. The ball valves are used for activating the pumps and to control the speed. When the test pressure is reached and the stabilization time is done, the ball valves are also used to isolate the hose from the pump by turning them to the side. Above you see here the air 
pressure gouges, which indicate the pressures, the air pressure on the pumps. And at least, as mentioned before, in the middle we have the blow through line to empty the hose on the end of the test. Then about the green lines. The first green line stands for the water feed to the pumps by opening this ball valve. The second green line stands for the visual DR indication, what is used in the beginning of the test, and the high pressure bleed on the end of the test to release the pressure on the hose. Then about the red lines. From the high pressure pumps, we go to the inlet high pressure bulkhead connection in the test chamber. The other high pressure connection is the return in bulkhead connection. By controlling the switch, you open or close the air operated high pressure valve, what is used for visual de air indication or to release the test pressure on the hose. Also connected to these red lines are the digital readouts as mentioned before. One for the complete range and one for accurate measurements on low pressure. This low pressure readout is to open or close manual with this switch. When the test pressure should come above 250 bar, you should close it. At least in the drawn frame you will see the switch for closing the door lock system and the start button which always has to activate before you can build up the test pressure. Risato computer recorded RCR. The unit will be delivered with RCR software on a USB stick. This software should be installed by yourself on your own laptop or desktop computer and should be connected with a USB cable to, on the left side to the unit. Before to start or to end a test on a HCU unit, you have to start or stop the RCR recording software manual by activating with the mouse the green or red button on the screen. For detailed operating instructions of this RCR software, we refer to the user guide and the additional instruction video what we should make later on. Then about the hydrostatic tests. Depending from the test pressure, and or volume of the hoses, you can use one of the two high pressure pumps or both. Test pressures below 140 bar, you use only the low pressure pump. Test pressures above 140 bar, but a small volume, you use only the high pressure pump. Test pressures above this 140 bar, but also with a big volume, you start with the low pressure pump and then use the high pressure pump. Now I will show you how to realize a hydrostatic test on this unit. First of all, you have to check if there is no pressure on the digital readouts or pressure on the air gouges. Here it is, so I turn back the pressure. Open the lid and mount the hose on both sides in the test chamber. This is already done for me, so I have an easy job. The connections are high pressure connections, M30-2. Resato can deliver crossovers from a quarter to a half inch MPT or BSP male or female. Then the pre-filling and the air part. First of all, open the water line with the bomb valve and now you can see here the water and the air was trapped in the hose is coming out. Close the lid. Turn uh, the door switch and push the start button. When you are sure that all the air what was trapped in the hose is out, 
you can close the DR by turning the switch. Then start the recorder uh, software manual with the mouse to push the green button on the screen as mentioned before as well. Now we will do a test on 50 bars. First of all, because it's a low pressure bar, we turn on the switch to activate the low pressure readout for an accurate measurement. Then open the ball valve from the low pressure pump so that we have a connection with the airline to the low pressure pump and turn the air regulator slowly up to the needed pressure of 50 bar for example. Then uh, you wait the stabilization time from your hose and when you think the pressure is stabilized enough, and that's depending from the hose of course, you turn the ball valve to the left to isolate the pump completely from the hose. Close the ball valve from the water feed and now actually you have uh, running your hydrostatic test and that's the time for that is depending from what your customer wants or what kind of norm you are using. Let's say that it is uh, 30 seconds, you wait 30 seconds, you can read that on the RCR computer recorder and when you have reached your test time you will open the bleed valve and the pressure is gone. And at least we will stop the recording software by pushing the red button on the screen with the mouse. Now we will empty the hose, of course. Open the ball valve from the mode, for the mode 2 function and you can see on the DR indication that the water is coming out and starts uh, putting the air through the hose. Then you close the ball valve again, you open the door, and now you can open the lid and dismantle your house. Then, if you have to test more hoses on the same pressure, you can do it quite easy on this unit. Let's say that this is the new hose, so we can start to open the water inlet again and look if the water is coming out. You can close in the meantime the lid, close the door lock, start the push, the start button and look again if all the air is coming out of the hose. When that is succeed, you close the de-air valve and now only have to open the ball valve of your pump slowly and the test pressure is exactly the same as on the hose before. Furthermore, the producer is actually the same as shown before, so you can isolate the pump pressure from your hose by turning the ball valve after your test time is done you can release uh, the pressure, first of all, push your water inlet back and open the bleed valve. Now we will do a high pressure test with the two uh, pumps, so to say a high pressure hose on a big, big volume. First of all, when you start, again look if there is no pressure on the, on the system, there is pressure now on the air gouges, so I have to turn it, turn them back. The hose is connected. I will open the valve for the water inlet to the pump and to de-air and pre-fill the hose. We can close the lid, close the door locks, and push the start button, and in between. You can see uh, the water is coming out and all the air is get rid out of the get out of the hose, so we can close the de-air valve. Now I have also to look on the low pressure uh, readout uh, because I want to go 
higher than this 140 bar or 220 bar in this case. I have to close the lock pressure readout. I start with to open the ball valve from the low pressure pump because I need a big volume. The pump is coming up. And because we have already pre-filled it, um, this pump is not uh, necessary to run in this moment. So I go up to let's say 100 bar. When this is finished, I close this valve. And I secure it. Then I take the second pump, I open the valve valve to the pump, turn the air regulator. The 30 seconds or 5 minutes, depending from what I said before, the wishes of your customer or the uh, norm what you, what you have to test, you can release uh, the pressure. First of all, the water inlet close, you open the bleed valve, and now you can turn with the blood uh, valve the water out of your house. In the meantime, also, you can open. The door locks, but wait before the hose is empty, otherwise you get sprayed by the air. 